Uh, hello, everybody, and thank you, Governor Gordon. I really appreciate the introduction. It's my pleasure to join you for such um, a great occasion. Obviously, this is such a critical time uh, for our nation. As you know, the president also has set an ambitious goal of re reaching economy-wide net zero emissions by uh, 2050. And this administration sees a critical role for, for carbon-free nuclear in this effort. Uh, today marks this first step forward, courtesy of Terra Power and the entire team behind the Natrium Demonstration Reactor that will soon call Wyoming its home. And all of us at the Department of Energy and at the Advanced Reactor Demonstration Program, we're all so proud to be your partners as you work to get the country's next nuclear reactor up and running. And we're so glad that Governor Gordon and Senator Barrasso and members of the state legislature and so many other Wyoming leaders who are there today saw the potential for this project and thought, well, why shouldn't Wyoming residents benefit from this reactor's, what, 345 megawatts of clean and affordable and reliable baseload power? This natrium reactor shows that the future of nuclear energy is, is here. It's, a, it's got a simpler design that will hopefully result in faster construction and lower costs. It's going to create a smaller footprint. It's going to be equipped with next generation safety measures, as the governor said, and it's going to run at temperatures high enough to produce efficient carbon-free hydrogen on top of the usual power generation, which is another exciting benefit. This reactor is going to boost um, uh, the flexibility with um, grid scale energy storage, and it's going to allow uh, for improved integration with renewable power to create clean energy forward, uh, to drive it forward across the country. I have a feeling that Wyoming won't be the only state angling for one of these nuclear reactors once we see it in action. So fortunately for the rest of the country, this administration is committed to building more. We are ready to make major investments in advanced nuclear technology so that communities all over the country can enjoy the benefits of safe and reliable and clean power that will leave them with lower energy bills and greater opportunities. And I'm not just talking about the thousands of construction jobs that Wyoming will enjoy as we build this plant. I'm talking about the scores of permanent high paying jobs in operating this plant and in maintaining it. And, and what has me most excited, frankly, about this reactor is that Terra Power made a decision to use a retired coal plant site, which is using the existing energy infrastructure to bring new economic life into the surrounding community. And I think that's how we can lead fossil energy communities who have literally powered our country and our economy for decades. We can lead them uh, into the clean energy future. They have powered our past. We want them to power our future as well. And so with the President's um, proposal, the American Jobs Plan, this administration will see to it that we launch more nuclear energy demonstration projects across the country. Um, we will launch carbon capture projects across the country. Um, Governor Gordon, you'll be happy to know, we'll put them in communities that stand to gain the greatest benefits from clean sources of electricity and the high quality jobs that they'll create and it will invest billions and billions more into research and development and deployment of advanced nuclear technology. So let me end with this. I know that the advanced reactor demonstration program support uh, is supported by folks on both sides of the aisle, and that really is the way it should be. We should all want our, our neighbors and our communities to have access to clean energy that leaves our, our children healthier and our planet safer and our wallets fuller and our homes more reliably powered. And this reactor and this program is one step in that direction. And I have no doubt that it will be a boon to the Wyoming residents who draw power from it. But we all need to take great leaps forward to give all Americans the same results. So I hope we can find that same spirit of bipartisanship in the name of common interests as we pursue um, the infrastructure plan that is um, being presented and negotiated now. So thank you all for having me. And once again, congratulations to Terra Power and the Natrium team on your, you know, on your progress. We look forward to continuing our collaboration with you as you get this reactor sited and built and humming.